Okay, so a couple things I got left to do. So I've already talked about the uh, the axles. Got to get the axles on there, um, and then once those are on, I can f uh, figure out exactly how the fenders or fit the fenders properly on there. Get those on there. But one thing I do need to do is right here, right down there, I got to weld a uh, angle bracket. Some angle iron in there and according to the instructions you put angle bracket and those bolts come up through and you bolt through to those um, and adds a lot of additional strength to it but that's not a big deal I'm not going to worry about that right now I'm still going to get the axle in what I'm going to do today is as you can see I got a bunch of plywood um, anyway there's some three eighths and some half inch so we're gonna put half inch flooring down so the half inch plywood will go down there I'm gonna cut those right now um, and then it'll actually be uh, insulated it's gonna be an insulated floor so um, we'll frame we'll frame it out with some uh, probably one buys and it'll get three three quarter inch um, insulation in there, and then um, on top of that, we'll get some three eighths inch plywood on top for the final floor. So it'll be a nice thick floor, lightweight, and uh, nice and warm. All right, all right. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick for working with plywood that works really well if you've ever. Uh, Worked with ply, large sheets of plywood, you know how frustrating it can be to cut. Um, especially, and a lot of people try to do it on sawhorses, and you know, you have a bunch of sawhorses under. It's just, just a pain in the ass. Well, there's a really easy way to, to work with plywood. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so right here, you build yourself a special plywood work, workbench. So this here, this here workbench is a full four by eight workbench that I built for working on, specifically really for working on plywood. Um, so you got a really nice, uh, ooh, a little windy out. Anyway, so yeah, so you got a really nice uh, large table to work on. And then if you look here, that there is one and a half inch thick foam. You lay your plywood down like this. You mark off how you need to cut it. Here, let me get the uh, saw and everything. That's the saw I use right there. It's uh, just a Ryobi seven and a half inch blade, battery operated, 18 volt saw. Um, made this here. This here is just a a track for cutting um, stick it down I'll show you that in a minute but the thing is this is where this is where the foam comes in handy you lay this down on here and you mark where you want your plywood to be cut and I got the blade a little high on this one but you set your blade in there and look look at that you can cut right through it right into the foam works perfect no more messing with saw horses no, no more fighting with the wood wanting to fall or getting bound up in the blade just cuts right through it we'll demonstrate it here in a minute
Alright. So as you can see, cuts right into the foam. Actually cut a little deeper than I usually do, but we'll remember that next time. So here's my 18 foot sheet. something on my lens there Hold on. all right we are working on finishing up the floor right now um, I've got it kind of put together I've got everything cut I uh, just need to get so these here are the side where the side walls bolt to um, that's actually going to be the thickness of the sidewalls. It's going to be a well insulated trailer. Um, so the insulation on the walls is going to be inch and a half foam. Um, that should give us plenty of insulation. The floor is actually going to be uh, insulated as well, but it's only going to have a three quarter inch insulation on it. So what we got here, i uh, got a full full sheet of plywood here and then to make up the extra uh, let's see what is that about a foot and a half piece there and then a foot strip back there in the way back um, so I'm going to finish putting these side rails here these guys right here and finish putting those on So I've got these down. These are this one's already put on all the way down here. Um, then these here strips of one by are going to go in randomly. I got to put a, a four by strip right here that's going to hold the two floor pieces, and then one across the back to hold that, and that'll get the floor nice and solid. Here's the seams on the floor. You can kind of see there. Got there there so yeah so so that's the project today I want to get the floor all done I gotta figure out how to get this table saw out of here because I gotta cut some I gotta rip some one by threes so It's going to flip on us. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I recruited my lovely assistant to uh, help me put these, the last of the boards in. Um, unfortunately, my camera didn't record. I know I, well, it didn't record. So we kind of missed it, but we caught, we uh, basically, I had to crawl underneath, got all the floor done. Um, had to hold all the boards. Had to hold all the boards. Yeah, so demonstrate down. how you. Yeah. Well, so I, I had to come so, up here, push down, then he got underneath. And I had to crawl <laughs> underneath and screw up from underneath. Yep, yeah. so we did this so, board, this one, this one, this one, and then that one. That was a lot of work. <laughs> so, so that's done. Now I just got to insulate it and put the, the 
top plywood. Luckily with the top plywood, I get a screw from the top. So it'll be easier. So. All right. The floor is done. Insulation is, in, well, not done. It's insulated, ready for the top. Top piece of plywood to go on top of it. And then it'll be done. So. So the back there, that's actually all under bed storage accessed from the outside. So no point in uh, insulating that. So yeah, that's it. Let's get the floor on now. And just like that, the floor is done. Got everything screwed in, glued down. Looks really good. So that is the floor of the trailer. Now comes the exciting part. The sidewalls. I've already started cutting them. This is just the very back piece. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll start that tomorrow. <laughs> 